Yeah, the course has been my path, and and then Diana's been in. This is a, this is a full time living experience for us, so it's not a part time thing in any way. It's just full full on devotional living and being used by the Spirit as a miracle worker. That involves healing, as we mentioned earlier. It involves uh, a state of mind. It involves lots of collaborations. You know, while the mind believes that it's a human being, while it believes it's a person, it's like the Spirit wants to use the body and the symbols of this world for the purpose of forgiveness. And it's helpful to think that that's the purpose of time is the undoing of time. The purpose of time is the undoing of the belief in linear time. And it's like, wow, that doesn't sound like a positive purpose. The, the purpose for something is the undoing of it. But you might think of it in terms of uh, that there is another way to look at this world in a way of, you might say, simultaneity, where you start to realize that it's all your mind and it's all equally your mind and then as your mind comes into that stillness and rest that you behold the world in a very different way that the ego invented linear time the ego invented this past present future construct to maintain guilt to maintain a sense of separation and isolation and then once it's projected and believed to be real then it seems that the world made you. Instead of you being a creation of God, it seems like that the beginning of the person has a time-space coordinate. I was born in such and such a place, such and such a date. You see, it's like the world is the cause, the dream is the cause, and who you are is now an effect of the dream. And that can get pretty crazy sometimes. Jesus says sometimes you feel like you're just like a dancing shadow or like sometimes you're you're just like a leaves swept up in the wind where you you feel your your life is chaotic things get confusing things get depressing uh, attack thoughts can come in droves almost like you you start to say okay I'm gonna heal I'm gonna awaken and it's more like you stuck a stick in a hornet's nest and then you pull the stick out and then bzz, 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 all these hornets come shooting out and those are these attack thoughts. And you think, well, I'm a decent person. I'm, you know, I'm not vicious. I'm not a killer. I'm not a murderer. And then when the hornets start streaming out, you don't know for sure <laughs> how innocent you are because those, that stream of hornets can, can seem to be uh, daunting. So. This is a very deep journey, and I, I always tell people when we gather together that I feel like we're on this lifelong journey together. We are mighty companions to each other to go all the way back to the light, to face all the darkness, whatever's going to come up, however it's going to look, however it's going to go, we are in this all the way together. It's like we're walking hand in hand, arm in arm, back to the light. And we're able to open up and start to share experiences, share our miracles, even share our, our, our challenges and difficulties, because even in doing that, it may help someone, as well as help ourselves of, of loosening from this guilt, this shame around, I'm doing something wrong, or why can't I get it, or how could I be so happy for so long and then fall off the cliff, <laughs> instead of fall off the wagon, <laughs> fall off the happiness cliff, you know, and, and go tumbling down. And for me, when I just gave everything I had to that course, everything I had to that workbook, really to live it, to transfer it. And then once your channel, once your mind becomes clear, then you can be used by the Spirit in amazing, miraculous ways, in countless ways, of what I call collaborative miracles, where we're here to collaborate. We know that, that, you know, many hands made for light work. We know that when we join together in collaborative ways that amazing things happen. Just go to a symphony and listen to a symphony or, or watch even acrobats, uh, Cirque du Soleil, when you see some of the performers as they work together and in such harmonious ways. 
you can you know there's a force underneath everything where we can collaborate instead of trying to do it on our own instead of trying to compete instead of trying to to make carve our niche out and make some kind of a name for ourselves individually we know there's something in teamwork even when we watch sports teams and athletics we we can feel there's a teamwork there's a harmony there's a collaboration there a fellowship a joining that is very attractive to us and we just want to go into that so for me when i got really happy a number of years ago maybe a couple decades ago i started having people showing up left and right all over in my life that wanted to come and live with me uh you know that's another thing like attracts like happiness attracts happiness and then i think i was on the move so much that i i had hermitages here and there in the woods i had a community a bit out in Denver, Colorado. I had a community up in Traverse City, Michigan. I had a little community in Cincinnati, Ohio. I little communities with I was in Cincinnati. I had a tiny little it's like a cottage, almost like looked like a gingerbread cottage out of, out of some kind of a fairy tale. And then people started renting and buying houses on the street <laughs> along with me to be around me, you know, they I had cats missing life had cats living with me they're they're amazing mighty companions my three legged cat tripod uh, I had her for years and years and years and she was probably the most consistent face that I had in my life I go on these world travels and Argentina and Europe and Australia and all over and then when I come back I had this little whirly tail and this little three legged cat rubbing up against my legs, chair legs, table legs, did not discriminate with giving the love. I had to give away the love. It was always she was always rubbing up against something to extend this love. It just a huge amount of love. And I had all these wonderful love fests with her and basically that's the way our lives go. As we start to open up to miracles, we have these so many collaborative opportunities that come our way